Smoking the mushrooms, I'm out of my body. Left should be blooming, I'm smoking the sky. Chanel, white like a hop in the booth and rap my hive. After my show, 30 bitches and live. Money on Whitney, like a new vibe. I rain on my clothes and they drench on my vibe. My dinner, they bumming, they horse like a pump. Stone Island exclusive, I got it from London. Becky Air Max to the money, I'm running. I gotta go get it, but you can't do fumbling. Come get that work. Tell that hoe to flip that twerk. This my turf. It's my turn, BG hot boy, this that turn, point but kill, look like skirt. Check this out, some chick is live streaming about the mayor. Alec just shot me a link. Alec? Yeah, you know, the guy from that thing. Shh, she's on. What's up, Lake Short? Okay, so tonight's live stream will expose the corruption behind the no-nonsense for nonsense policy. <sighs> cute name, right? But there's nothing cute about what's happening to the people of this city. Look, we have inside information that will finally expose this administration and how they are the real criminals of Lakeshore. But first, do you like your mattress? Oh, shit. I think I hate my mattress. Yo, what would you say if I told you there was a way to make some cash besides racing? I'd say I like both my kidneys. Nothing serious yet, but my boy Alec could be looking for a driver. Hold on, remind me, Alec is... Friend I rolled with from before. We were in the same foster home. the buy-ins on some of these races? We can't get that kind of cash playing it safe. There's gotta be another way.
He's legit impressive. Got a major hustle. A hustle? Gonna hit him up and see if he's got something for us. How come I never met him before? You've never met my Uncle Choppy, either. I got people you don't know, all right? All right. As I said, we came up in the system together. He looked out for me. Yeah, I know. I came through that system, too, remember? You got lucky. I bounced around so much. Alec was there for me when no one else was. When I came to Rydell's, we drifted apart. But he called me a couple of days ago out of the blue. Out of the blue, huh? No, it's not like that. He saw us race and reached out. Look, he's good people. He can help us out with getting some more money. All right, all right, fine. I trust you. You know that. We're gonna kill it. Let's end this and go grab a beer. Dispatch, the son of a bitch just slammed us. Additional reinforcements are making their way to you. We got taken out of the pursuit. Be advised, suspect entering Yams Park. Reinforcements are coming. Enter Duncan Bay.
Suspect. Damn, I thought we lost them. All units be advised. Purpose entered. Kennedy test track. I think we're going to have to bail soon. Reinforcements are nearly there. Damn, those cops are pretty precious about their paint jobs, huh? Keep up with us. Oh, a new Lake Lab episode just dropped. And that is why you should never feed a possum ice cream. Somebody's gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> but anyway, for those of you who are just joining us, we're focusing on the recent revelations that Mayor Stevenson's sister holds a prominent role on the board of Waterside Construction. Yeah, the company that has been awarded the largest renovation contract in Lakeshore history. You know, I think it's safe to say we can file that under conflict of interest, right guys? On today's episode, I'll be looking at how this was allowed to go through without facing the public. Wait. Why shouldn't you feed a possum ice cream? Looks like Alec might be at the meetup. Let's make sure we impress out there. All right. Just locked in some more clients. Words getting out about this garage. Great. I'm happy for you. Happy for us? I wouldn't be here without you two. This garage isn't just a business. It's a family. That must be why we get minimum wage. There's a bunch of cars needing a tune-up. The game? Yeah, sure thing. You hear Rydell back at the garage? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. What do you say? Do you know how many times I've heard the we are a family speech? Trust me, the only person you should be loyal to is yourself. Yes, quiet. Hey, Rydell. Hey, just wanted to wish you both luck for the big race. You got this. Thanks, Pops. Just remember, don't just say shit. Win shit. Win shit. That's right. 
well, break it. Don't know where I'm going with this. See you back at the garage. What was that about? Maybe he's trying to apologize. It usually starts with sorry. Well, that's just right now. He's old school. Yeah, old something. Mm -hmm. Hi. Yo, looks like Alex here. Do your thing. I told him to look out for us. He was very interested in our car. So, let's not disappoint. <laughs> even break out the grill in his dad's secret marinade. Oh, shit, hold up. Alex calling. What up, fam? 
Yeah, impressive, huh? Little garage run by. I told you, bro. I don't know, like a bunch. A bunch of what? What, tonight? Yeah, you know it. Thanks. Peace. All right. What was that about? Alex gig. Wait, now? I thought we were going back to the garage. Transport job. Simple pick up and drop off. He's sending over the info now. We're not passing this up. It's our time, yo. All right, fine. Let's do this. I don't know, Yaz. This seems sketchy. What did I say about taking risks? If we impress this guy, we'll reap the benefits. But there's no second chances. Do you have any idea what ride we're picking up? Knowing my boy, something legit. Take it. I'll drive out to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Don't mind if I do. All right, you got the drop-off location. Let's not wait around. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it, Jasmine! Is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. Somehow got away from me. Suspect pulled the disappearing act at University Central. Sweep the area. Terminating pursuit. Yes, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are, are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit! Yes, the garage alarm just got tripped. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. I gotta get back to the garage. Calling Rydell's rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Shit. Where is it?
shit! Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yes, let's go! They just said your name. Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted you. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes, wait. What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything. They said no one could clean up Lakeshore. She grabbed the mob. Re-elect Mayor Morgan Stevenson, the leader Lakeshore deserves. Hey, Rydell. Kind of dead again today. Some old lady did come in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Uh, well, I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh, uh, I did clean out the storeroom, and dude, you were right. That is a possum, not a rat. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey, the, the book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. All right. Who needs a ride? Hello, Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? Hey, name's Jess. Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address and where I'm heading. No sweat. I'll be there soon. I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh... I got you. What? 
Do you have a pet chinchilla or like a possum or something? Uh, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Ah, you race? Something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shakeup from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. And I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene but don't have a car? We'll just get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars. Great conversation. Eh, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Yeah, maybe I will. I haven't seen this many racers in one place in a minute. What brought everyone back out? The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. <laughs> I can see why. I'm gonna do the rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go. I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been, for real? The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run-in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best. Seven days until the first qualifier. Earn your place. Yes. Yo, Speedy, you still want that five star rating? Then show me what you got. Five stars? I got you. People who wear bow ties with sneakers, those are the real criminals. Patrol no longer in pursuit. Can we do that again? Shit! I thought we had them there. That suspect just lost us at Douglas Park. The both got away. Calling off this pursuit. I was sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. What you saw back there? That's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car. That she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. Wait till Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh... He runs the garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. <sighs> yeah, no kidding. On it. So, gotta ask. Was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard? Look, that ain't the guys I know. But it's been a while. <laughs>
This is it. Rydell's Rides. Not bad. Maybe could use a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me! Whoa! Whoa! Kid? You triggered the alarm, sister. Hey! No touching! Sorry. This is Tess. Almost took your hair off. Nice to meet you, slugger. Rydell, I saw Jasmine. She just pulled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high-stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Slow down, kid. Now, let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was all about. And now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like... The cops? <laughs> oh, yeah! And the kid was crazy fast out running them. Now, I'm thinking... Learn from the best. Listen. I got what you need. Cash. And you two got what I want. A reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors? Come on, Rydell. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice. Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Mm, I sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. Oh, <laughs> I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded? <laughs> 